humans have to keep their distance from orangutans too, even at lunchtime, because both species are at risk of contracting the new coronavirus. These orangutans are under lockdown and have had to stay in their cages for months. Since the jungle school is closed, uh, we can train them to find and introduce them to get some forest fruit. So we bring the forest fruit to them. So it's like uh, rattan and uh, thermite's nest and all the forest fruits. So they can uh, uh, learn from that. Their meals are delivered wrapped in leaves, so they have to figure out how to get the food. Useful practice for when they're later released into the wild. The cages are disinfected twice a day. Hygiene is of crucial importance. The teams who care for the animals rotate every three weeks. Before they start work, staff have their temperature taken, another coronavirus precaution. They shot the video for this report themselves. We talked to the head of the project by video call. Orangutan DNA is 97% identical to that of humans. So they're extremely susceptible to all our diseases, especially those affecting the respiratory tract. That's the main reason why we've imposed such a strict quarantine, to make sure there's no transmission of a virus replicating in humans to a population in the wild. It would probably have no immunity at all to such a virus. The effects could be devastating. Deutsche Welle has been reporting on this project for years. The aim is to prepare orangutans for survival in their natural jungle habitat, in the Bukit Tigapulu rainforest in central Sumatra. Many were rescued as orphans, often held captive as pets under terrible conditions. They had forgotten, or had never learned, how to move through the treetops, forage for food, and build nests. Their keepers at the jungle school teach them all these skills, usually out in the forest itself. Orangutans enjoy piggyback rides. Many of them don't like to walk much. This was before the coronavirus pandemic. So, no exercises in the forest for now, even though they have so much to learn. Probably the most important item on the curriculum at jungle school is learning about fruit trees what they look like and when they bear fruit, in which season or in which years. In order to survive, every orangutan has to develop a four-dimensional map in their head, covering space and time. It takes time to learn all that, but we've had to suspend the learning process. Where are the trees and when do they bear fruit, as the orangutans have to stay in their cages? The lockdown can only be relaxed once the pandemic has been contained. This is not good for the animals. Their fitness deteriorates and they become bored, even lethargic. Not the best preconditions for release and survival in the wild. Those that have already been set free currently lead better lives. Keepers go on patrol to check on them and provide extra food if need be. Here too, social distancing applies. But we're still continuing our work to uh, monitor the behavior of the orangutans. So we take daily data of the orangutans here at the farm, at this farm, and we take, uh, we take, we record all the uh, behavior like eating and uh, moving, resting, and social behavior, and so on. The school is located in the Bukit Tigapulu rainforest and releases its graduates there. It's a very remote location. So, should any orangutans here catch the coronavirus, they won't pass it on to other ones in the wild. What's more, they tend to be naturally self-isolating creatures anyway and don't hang out in big groups. The team faces the challenge of protecting their wards from possible infection while also training them for release. This video was shot a couple of years ago. There is no guarantee that a self-sustaining population will emerge here again, 
Over the past half century, 80% of the region's rainforests have been cut down to make way for vast plantations. On our last visit, Peter Pratje stressed the importance of saving the forest and teaching the orangutans survival skills. If the orangutans are able to survive here, then all the other animals in the rainforest animal community will be too. The tigers, elephants and all the other species. That's why it's so important to protect them. The number of COVID-19 cases among humans in Indonesia continues to rise. The project has a backup plan if the lockdown goes on for too long. It will release its orangutans into the wild before they've completed their schooling, but will then provide them with longer-term support out in the forest. That way, the orangutans will be able to settle and have offspring, and their numbers can grow until the threat of extinction here is banished. <laughs>